What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Pork, and in this video we're going to be comparing the performance of the iPad 2 to the iPhone 4. Now the iPhone 4, just like iPad 1, has the A4 chip, single core running at about 1 gigahertz with 512 megabytes of RAM. The iPad 2 is running the A5 dual core running uh, between 800 and 900 megahertz and also has 512 megabits of RAM. Both are 3G devices running on AT&T, but both are currently connected to Wi-Fi. Just to show you guys before I do any testing, I've cleared the suspended app, so there are no apps in suspension currently. And I'm also going to go to settings to clear Safari's cache. So again, clear cache. Now my first test, we're just going to do a boot speed test. So iPad 2 was quite a bit faster, almost twice as fast. Now let's unlock. Now once again for my first test, we're going to run the JavaScript benchmark. So we'll let that run and I'll be back in just a minute. Now here we can see the iPhone 4 completed the test in a little over 4100 milliseconds while the iPad 2 did it in half that time at 2100 milliseconds. So what that benchmark tells us is that JavaScript renders twice as fast on the iPad as it does on the iPhone 4 so pages still load more quickly. Now let's go ahead and start loading some pages. So let's load Apple. iPad 2 is quite a bit faster there. Let's do Mac Rumors. It looks like the iPhone 4 is quite a bit faster. Now let's do 9 to 5 Mac. So again, the iPad was a little faster. Now because both these devices are using the same Wi-Fi network, they're robbing each other's bandwidth. So this isn't necessarily an accurate test, but it gives you an idea of real world results. So let's go ahead and do another benchmark. I'm gonna do Geekbench. Now this will no. benchmark the performance of the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4. So let's go ahead and run that. So you can see the Geekbench score reveals that the iPad 2 is a substantially more powerful computer uh, scoring 752 versus the 367 on the iPhone 4. Now for my next test, I'm going to use Auto Stitch, which is a photo application that allows you to knit photos together to form a panorama. Now I took a bunch of photos at Somerset while I was waiting in line for iPad 2. I've gone ahead and loaded them into the stitching app. And all I have to do is click Stitch and we'll see which one does it fast and how much faster. All right, so it took the iPhone 4 twice as long as iPad 2 to render that image. But just to show you guys what that panorama is about, I'm going to zoom up, pan around. Pretty neat. Now for my next test, we're just going to start launching apps. So let's start with YouTube. So a little faster on iPad 2, let's launch one of my videos. Let's do the first one. What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and today so, we're going to take a look at the... So a little faster on the iPad 2, looks like this is still loading. Let's go to Notes. Let's tap the keyboard. The keyboard comes up about the same rate. Let's hide it. Let's do it again. So exactly the same. So this was ready to take photos a little faster. Let's swap to video. Again, iPad 2 a little faster. Let's try Google Earth. So 
So again, iPad 2 a little faster. Now let's try some games. We're gonna do Angry Birds. iPad 2 faster. Now for the next test, we're gonna launch Infinity Blade, which is one of the more demanding games around. So let's tap on those. They're almost in sync. iPad 2 is ready to play. iPhone 4 is still working on it. And so iPhone 4 is ready, so iPad 2 indeed was a little faster, so let's click play. Okay, so iPad 2 was a little faster there to low, but not substantially so. Now we're just going to test app switching to see how the app suspended. So let's go to Infinity Blade. So they suspended properly. Let's go to Google Earth. Same thing. Angry Birds. Same thing. So you can see the app launcher is a little faster on the iPad as well. Now let's see what happens when we bring up Spotlight Search. About the same. And finally, let's do the shutdown test. So overall, we can see that the difference between the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4 isn't as substantial as the performance difference between iPad 1 and iPad 2. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a look at the performance of the iPad 2 versus the iPhone 4. Thanks for watching.